Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and in this video, we're going to take a look at what's new in Mac OS Mojave. We'll start off with one of the changes that got the biggest ovation during the WWDC keynote this past Monday, the new system-wide dark mode. I know a lot of Mac users have been clamoring for a dark mode of some kind, and Apple is really pushing this as a tool for better productivity. With my brief time on Mojave, I will say that I'm already really digging the dark mode. Colors certainly pop and seem much more vibrant, and I find it easier to read text, especially in darker rooms. If you want to turn dark mode on or off, you can do this by going into System Preferences, where you'll find it in the General tab. Along with dark mode, we'll also get Dynamic Desktop, which will change your desktop wallpaper based on the time of the day. So during the day, you'll obviously have this daytime setting, and as it gets dark, so too will your wallpaper. Nothing too crazy, but definitely a pretty cool add-in. Desktop Stacks is a new feature that I'm also really happy to see make its way into macOS Mojave. The new Stacks feature organizes messy desktops by automatically stacking files into neat groups based on file type. Users can customize their stacks to sort based on other file attributes like date and tags. To use Stacks, simply go to View in the Finder status bar menu and select Use Stacks. From here, you can right-click on your desktop to bring up more options like sorting or grouping your stacks, and you can also scrub through your stacks to quickly find a file. A new gallery view in Finder has also proven to be super useful, especially if you have a ton of photos or videos to go through and maybe need to make some on-the-fly adjustments like rotating an image or trimming a video. The gallery view provides a great way to see all of your files and metadata, and it can also help create and password protect PDFs too. Also in the Finder is the ability to do a lot more when viewing files using Quick Look. When in Quick Look, you'll notice a new Quick Action options for doing things like rotating an image or accessing markup tools, and you can even sign PDFs without having to open up Preview. And all of these Quick Actions are contextual and will change based on the file that you're viewing. Screenshots have also received an update that allows for quick markup and editing. Once a screenshot is taken, the screenshot will minimize to the bottom right corner of your Mac, and you'll be able to quickly find the screenshot, mark up and edit, and then share it without having to open an application, much like an iOS. macOS Mojave also introduces some new desktop versions of native iOS apps like News, Stocks, Voice Memos, and Home. The apps were brought to Mac using iOS frameworks that have been adapted to macOS. Apple says that starting in late 2019, these additional frameworks will be available for developers to bring their own iOS apps to macOS. An all-new redesigned Mac App Store is also available in Mojave, and it is already a huge improvement over the previous iteration. The left side of the App Store is where you'll find your different tabs like Discover, Create, Work, Play, Develop, Categories, and Updates. When clicking on an application, you'll now see video previews, images, and reviews all up front and center in this beautiful new UI. Like the iOS App Store, the rich editorial content is designed to help increase app discovery, which was definitely lacking in the prior version. The new Mac App Store is definitely on par with the iOS App Store in terms of design, and in 2019 we will be one step closer to having a beautiful and robust App Store filled with a lot of great applications. Let us know in the comment section down below what you think of the new Mac OS Mojave update, and if there's anything else that you'd like to see in a future video. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.